without much ado, I would like to invite the next speaker to the podium. Uh, let's listen to the video. Hi. Okay, let me share my screen. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm sorry that I couldn't be there in person. Um, my name is Maya, and I'm going to tell you about a newer module called Population from Wikidata that I worked on last year. Um, so I worked on this as a part of a Wikidata fellowship uh, through Wikimedia Australia, and I'm very new to contributing to Wikimedia projects, so luckily I had a massive, um, very talented mentor team. And shout out to Sam and Alex who are at Wikinania, so go and talk to them if you want to hear more about this project. Um, I, they, we wrote a really good uh, blog post to summarise this whole project from start to finish, and of course, all the um, documentation is is with the module. So go and check that out, and I'll put this um, this presentation on Commons as well for you to grab those links. So, what was the challenge? Our challenge is that there are about fifteen thousand Australian place articles in English Wikipedia, and about twelve thousand three hundred of those have population values in the info box. So the status as at last year was that all these population values for all these articles needed to be manually updated whenever there was new census data, say, or population data released um, uh, that could be used. So you can imagine that this is a huge amount of manual work and prone to, to error through such um, copying and pasting. So we figured that we could make use of Wikidata to semi-automate this process. Um, this is possible because all the Australian Place articles are linked to their equivalent Wikidata items and um, a couple of um, users have done a huge amount of work of uh, adding population values and statements to these items and developing bulk upload methods so that there is a huge amount of really good population data in, in these place items. So what we needed to do was to write a Lua module that could grab these population values and the reference data and give it to the Infobox Australian Place template. So most of the work that I was involved in was designing how are we going to choose which population value is the best one um, for any given article. So what we decided was uh, some criteria that had to be met. Uh, mainly, we needed to have good reference information so that we could reference the value we were using. We needed to also check that the population value we were selecting had a geographic area that matched what was, uh, what was being described in, in the Wikipedia article, because, for example, you don't want to use a suburb population value if you're describing a city. And, of course, we wanted to get the most recent value um, of all the possible population values we had in the item. The module then crunches around these um, criteria against these rules and gives the, as an output the population value and the reference data that goes with it back to the info box template. So, uh, the way we've set it up is that the module is only called from the template if you manually remove the pop value. Uh, this was so we didn't want to automatically override everybody's work and potentially cause a whole lot of um, mistakes and problems. So at the moment you have to go through and, and do this manually, but of course this is just a one-time thing because after that um, it will always draw the population value from Wikidata and you can always bulk upload one that, minute that left um, so it is a much more efficient and less error prone method than the manual updating per each article so it's been live for a year now there's over 3,000 articles successfully using this module uh, we are keeping track of some of um, you know how how many articles and um, what changes are happening, so I go and check out the graphs and the tables and things that are happening. Um, of course, there's a whole lot of documentation, and here are a couple of links to the module and to that blog post, and go and talk to Sam and Alex if you want to ask any more questions 
I love hearing about wiki functions project because maybe this sort of module could then be used in other contexts, in other Wikipedias, in other languages, in other countries, which would be great. Thanks, everybody. Thank you very much. That was an amazing